Hi guys, welcome back to a super quick revision series. These series are designed to make your job a bit easier. Let's try to do the recap. This balance scorecard. Balance scorecard is whatever chapter we were on. Now, balance scorecard is basically a measure whereby we try to measure a company not only in a financial way but also non-financially. In non-financially, we all have three categories with us: customer perspective, internal perspective, and finally, in this case, your learning, growth, research, and development category. Okay, we'll start away with the questions now. In our first question that was there, it was actually a general question. Okay, uh, I see lesser chance of such kind of questions being asked, so therefore I have given that question as a one star. Now, what was this question all about? This question in this case was all about a company that was selling motor cars. Okay, in India and different parts of the world, and this particular company pays its employees fixed salary and performance related pay. Performance related pay means. However, our employee will do financially. Okay, we will give that much amount of pay. There were two types of departments whose data is given to you. If a department in this particular case is going to be a cost center, I will measure your performance based upon the cost that you all have saved. Try to think if you are a cost center's manager. Only thing that you will have in mind, sir, I want to be saving more bucks. If I will be saving more bucks, then in that particular case, obviously. my pay will be higher this is one kind of department second thing are your profit centers profit centers their bonus will be based upon the profits that their departments will generate how do you get profits sir sales and cost so i would like to do higher sales so i as a manager can do anything in this case to try to sell my goods more if suppose like you know within a limited time i can only produce these many vehicles these guys started to do what they started in this case to produce more vehicles sir how is that particular thing possible how do you increase the speed of manufacturing now these guys started to skip lot of checks also when the vehicles were being made sir that is very bad that was very good for the managers why because their sales had started to increase in this particular period sales increased obviously in this particular case their bonuses will also be increasing because we are measuring each and everybody's performance only financially and nothing else okay so therefore lately this particular company has started to have all quality issues do remember all the quality issues will not be because of in this particular case inherent defect in the production in this particular case there was ne- there was never any complaint from the customers but lately there have been started to be complaints because your employees know have had one objective now let's try to earn profit whatever might happen now try to be thinking if suppose like you know within a short period they try to produce more vehicles their sales will increase so therefore these guys pay will be increasing but in long run okay this will be firing back to the company how customers will not be happy the products will be defective there will be lot of recalls also that the company will be doing for repairing this particular thing in and it might cost company more amount of loss in terms of goodwill and in terms of cost to repair those vehicles so the problem is not in your production the the problem in this particular case is you are measuring performance of each and everybody financially so what do we try to recommend we say a very simple thing that instead of measuring the performance only financially try to measure the performance non financially also i can give you one example yes you should try to measure the savings against the budget yes you should be doing that yes you should try to see how much uh, like you know units have been sold all these particular things are financial measures but apart from that suppose the product is sold after 3 months you should give a call to the customer and ask him what sir are you satisfied with the product please give us a rating on these particular fronts are you happy with the product are you happy with the service are you happy with the attitude of the manager who has sold you these particular goods okay so on and so forth now whatever feedbacks you get from there that should also be incorporated in the performance report if all these things are also incorporated while giving the bonuses to the managers managers will start to become far more quality conscious and they'll become more sensitive towards the consumers that is one thing that is missing currently okay so mainly in this particular case your question was all about this particular part only okay that you have to try to identify this is the problem the problem is not that your manufacturing was bad okay we were doing great manufacturing since many years here okay but this particular problem has started to come because of your faulty policy of measuring everything financially okay in this particular question what i have written in short it's a case study problem it is on a company making the cars company was a trusted brand among the consumers but lately it has started to face quality issues 
do remember that every quality issue might not be because of the bad production or defective materials try to find out the reason company uses financial measure to find out the performance of the employees in such a case employees can do anything to earn pay cost center started to skip the quality checks to save cost and hence in this case get more amount of pay okay so therefore hence get more pay over here because there will be savings these problems are there because a company only uses financial measures hence every employee will have only one objective and that is nothing but sell at any cost do anything but in that case try to be getting more amount of revenue try to incur least amount of cost so obviously this particular thing is there for the profit centers okay further we advise the company should use alternate performance measure like balance score cut which uses non financial measures as well in this case employees will not be able to just sell their product but also be answerable for good service customer satisfaction up and so on problem has also asked us to mention two csf and two kpi for each category please check the measures under the four perspective now towards the end no this particular question had asked us whatever you all had done in, in the last lecture advantages and disadvantages of measuring a performance uh, financially as well as non financially and towards the end no it told that for this company use your creativity there are four heads no financial perspective customer perspective internal perspective and in this case learning development growth perspective under each of the perspective mention any two csf mention any two kpi okay now you can use your creativity as such that's not a problem now in this case what i had done was a very simple thing that that was in financial perspective my objective could be to become most profitable company okay how do you know that you are achieving that that is nothing but your kpsl i'll try to find out my profit as again say the competitors that could be one thing sir my financial perspective could also be in this case i want to uh, in this case become say number one player in this particular industry okay how do you know that you are achieving that try to find out your revenue growth up and so on apart from that you want to become most profitable company try to be finding out how much savings are against the budget you can be doing that particular thing also against customers perspective and uh, uh, against the customer perspective we should become say the number one uh, choice of the customers how do you know you are achieving that try to see how many units you have sold because if you have sold more number of units that usually will mean the customers are happy with you second in this particular case try to implement zero defective policy or zero recall policy because if there will be zero recall that means the quality of your product is good so therefore number of returns will be less so how do you know how like you know where, whether you are achieving this or not try to see number of cars which are recalled then under internal perspective try to see the quality of the product or number of defective cars that you all have made okay uh that could be your kpi the objective in that particular case uh, will be to have zero defective goods okay that that could be that then apart from that uh, if suppose like you know you all are going to be using lot of machines you can try to be saying there should be zero unscheduled stops uh, machines should not result in the quality loss how do you measure this particular thing by oee overall equipment effectiveness in tpm we all have done then in this case learning development and growth sir we should try to be launching more models each and every year you can try to see how many models you have launched sir we should give a lot of training to our workers that will be useful as such okay you can try to be seeing how many hours of training you have done sir we should be doing research and development you can try to see r and d hours okay research and development hours so on and so forth so any two kpis and any two csf will be all fine okay i have given you a list you all can go through that okay for now question number 2 in this case was then starting where by uh data in this particular case was of a telecom company okay now this telecom company aims to be the best company in the world wants to be giving world class services to everybody now what data was given for this the data in this case that was given that was uh something like this you had base years data you can try to be thinking base year is a last years data okay now this is whatever was our target for this year and this is whatever actually happened and you had to try to analyze the performance using balance score card what data was given operating expenses sorry the operating ratio that is operating expenses upon sales into 100 first this will be coming under financial perspective average revenue per user i think this will also be coming under the financial perspective unresolved consumer complaints i guess this came under the customer perspective third 
customer relationship centers now these centers are launched so that the problems from the consumers are less this is our internal stuff okay these are internal stuff so therefore this came under internal perspective and employee training under the employee coverage under the training program came under the learning development and growth now whenever data is like this no and you are given the data now in this question we have to do the classification also so this came under the financial perspective under the customer perspective internal perspective learning development growth so therefore we did that classification and then comments came whereby the students are really poor you all don't understand only how to be commenting so therefore few guidelines i have tried to give you it's a telecom company it has given five measures ask them to classify under the four criteria in each criteria while commenting for each factor say what each factor indicates second if it is good or bad if it is bad then what will be the effect of it and how to improve it and try to interlink the kpis okay with each other they will be mostly related okay all the kpis no at least some of them will be related to each other example we'll try to do that particular thing for this question operating ratio last year it was 54 we wanted to take it to 50 obviously lower the better our expenses are lower and we have actually managed to increase it so therefore how do you improve this particular ratio so first of all this particular ratio tries to indicate like you know that what is the ratio of your expenses to sales now obviously we all have not done good on this particular front so therefore what can we all suggest we can try to be suggesting try to cut down your expenses but one thing do not try to cut down those particular costs which are adding value for you try to cut down wasteful cost and try to increase the sales now how to be increasing the sales there are two options either increase average revenue per user that is kind of your selling price or uh, try to increase number of users honestly speaking uh, number of users if we could increase in any case we all will do it i don't think so uh, anybody needs to tell us okay so try to increase average revenue per user so let's come out to that last year it was 210 we wanted to take it to 50 we have managed to do some okay job we managed to take it to 225 okay so uh, we all have done pretty okay but not very good so then try to give some advice try to be increasing the average revenue per user by increasing the selling price but in case we all do that i think the demand will start to be falling the customers will be switching to the other operators so then what to do try to introduce more value added services and charge for them example geo started as a mobile phone company today it has geo fiber also whereby it is charging the customers for that so therefore it is trying to increase average revenue per user as much as possible okay then uh unresolved consumer complaints last year it was 25 we had a plan to reduce it by 20 percent in fact we managed to increase it by 10 percent this is really pathetic in long run is going to be affecting the company to a great extent your customers are not happy try to resolve them as soon as possible okay might be to resolve them we have thought of opening more customer relationship centers last year it was 200 we had a target to take it to 250 we managed in this particular case to take it to 280 so therefore we all have done good job you know some students have a thing sir if, if the first criteria is bad now we will criticize the company for everything okay do remember there will be no company in this world that will be pathetic in everything. If it was pathetic in everything, it would have shut down by now. They will not even give you the question on that. Okay. So, therefore, there will be some good things. Try to bring out those particular good things. So, therefore, company has started to take its first steps to resolve the consumer complaints. Yes, the effect of that till now has not been shown. Okay. Because the consumer complaints are still increasing. But then in long run, I think it will start to be making impact further employees coverage under the training program last year eight percent employees were covered we had a plan to take it to 15 percent we have managed to take it to 10 percent now if you're not going to be training the employees is going to be affecting your business to a great extent your employees in this particular case are those particular people who are going to be dealing with the customers or those particular people who are doing the back-end job so if these guys are not trained about the new technology about the new plans it will affect your services in the long run so therefore try to be doing that okay now that's it in this case about your question number two okay and then we started away with question number three just i'll read the shots of it financial perspective operating ratio is going bad we need to cut down the wasteful expenses the average revenue per user needs needs to be improved by offering more value added services and charging for them okay second customer perspective unresolved consumer complaints are increasing this will affect the company in the long run internal perspective company has done a good job in opening more centers to resolve the complaints it will help in future to resolve although till now it has not been much resolved okay further 
training and growth training to the workers is not up to the mark this will affect the company in the long run as employees might not be knowing about the new plans and the company's launches okay now this is your question number two question number three it should be a three star question okay now it was asked in may 2020 rtp questions okay listen now there was a company called as luxo but this question is not about luxo it's about this particular other company that is rb singer now this rb singer no is basically a eyewear brand okay now it started four years ago and then within four years it could also it could almost break the, mon the monopoly of this particular uh, company so in four years we all have done fantastic job okay we all have broken the monopoly of another company and lot of things are given to you over here uh they all started with the online thing something like say the lens cart or something like that okay and in america those guys have done wonders okay they eliminated the middlemen they started to manufacture their own goggles also apart from that like you know the range of the services which are offered by rb is very different as compared to luxo including the easy process buying up and so on they customize the eyewear for you all okay so on and so forth okay and their cheapest product is very cheap as such comes around for 95 dollars okay now all the mission objective and vision all those particular things are given and then in that particular case like you know the data is given uh in this particular question they have done the classification they have done those particular things Achha, one other line that is over here for every pair of glasses that the customers pay for rb donates a pair of uh, glasses to the needy person this is like you know their uh, philanthropic work okay whereby like you know they all do good amount of charity also now the data as such this is the target this is the actual classification is there with you this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one and this particular thing was was a fourth one you had to just try to be commenting in this case how good was the performance in each and every case so therefore target was 14 but it was 13 somebody can be saying bad i do understand but now in the question it is given to you that company has invested heavy in the it infrastructure okay because a lot of sales come from online so therefore they have invested huge amount for security for a better experience up and so on obviously if investment will be higher returns will be lower no in this case so therefore these returns have fallen down due to that particular thing so therefore i will not much try to criticize this because they have invested in something that will give long run results okay net income has increased so therefore that is quite good so absolute we all have earned more although in percentage terms we all have earned less because of that number of first time buys is pretty good we had a target of 1 lakh we did 1 lakh 20 so customers are liking us customer retention ratio these guys are our repeat buyers okay so therefore 75 percent we got 78 percent so therefore our retention ratio is also quite good number of complaints are falling assets so that's pretty good sign number of glasses donated to needy people okay that also tells you how much sales you all have done here okay so therefore 9 lakh and 9 lakh 60 because whenever a customer pays for a glass we donate one uh, pair of glasses free to the needy people so therefore at that particular time even this thing is good okay further internal processes number of business processes re-engineered okay so therefore these are how like you know the processes are ranged it means they are done in a different way so 100 was a target we all have done 110 so therefore pretty good in that particular way number of new services i think is slightly a problem we had to be making four services available online we could do two so therefore company in this case should try to find out the reason why this thing was less incidences of customer frauds it was supposed to be 10 okay it reduced down to three that's pretty good and that be that might be because of the heavy investment that we all have made in the it the carbon emissions okay co2 commissions are also falling so therefore that is also good only then learning and growth number of employees trained to instruct the retailers it was 1050 but it was only 1000 here the performance is slightly bad because we okay are manufacturing and we also must be selling to retailers okay now how many employees we all had to instruct the retailers that is falling that might affect your business to some extent because we will not be able to reach till the retailers and retailers are those people who will actually deal with the final customers okay then in that case 
नंबर ऑफ आर्स पेड फॉर सोशल प्लान ओके इट वॉज सपोज टू बी टेन थाउजेंड इज टेन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड नाउ इन दिस केस देर आर टू वेज टू लुक एट इट वी हैव डन मोर अमाउंट ऑफ सोशल सर्विस दैट इज वन थिंग और यू कैन ट्राई टू बी थिंकिंग दैट इन दिस केस आर कॉस्ट हैज इंक्रीज दैट कुड बी स्लाइटली अ नेगेटिव थिंग देन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द लास्ट थिंग नंबर ऑफ ट्रेनिंग पोजिशन फ्रॉम द रूरल एरियाज हाउ मेनी पीपल वी रिक्रूटेड फ्रॉम द रूरल एरियाज वी आर अ टारगेट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड वी डिड ओनली वन एटी नाइन सो दैट स्लाइटली बैड बट देन आई कैन स्टिल ट्राई टू बी थिंकिंग लाइक यू नो दैट वी माइट नॉट हैव फाउंड enough good people from the rural areas that could be the reason for that okay so i think overall in most of the fronts the company has done a reasonable good job okay that will be that was our concluding remark as such okay and that is whatever i try to write down over here it's about a company called as rb singer which makes the eyewear we have been given actual performance and the targets and we are asked to evaluate using the balance score card financial perspective the target of roce was 14 but then it was achieved only as 13% so rb's net income was in fact 6 million more than the target some 89 million and 95 million or something the most likely reason for the under target of rec roc is the investment that it has made in the it security while this might have reduced roc this investment is a good idea as it helps rb to pursue its mission and keep the customers happy because they are doing lot of business to online customer perspective it has not just exceeded the target sales to the first time buyers by 20 it was supposed to be 1 lakh it was 1 lakh 20 improved the customer retention ratio which is good for the company to pursue its vision of being a trusted healthcare partner customers complaints have been reduced from 2 to 1.5 that's again good also number of classes uh, donated exceeded the target that shows that company has exceeded the target of helping the people which is good for the company's reputation for the then your internal perspective internal perspective in this particular case we all have done uh, the number of free engineer processes had exceeded the target that is good now one more impact of that particular thing will always be that might be it is because of this only the number of consumer complaints have reduced because our processes are re engineered now suppose like you know that uh, now in this case you try to make better quality of the products or in this particular case it might happen that you have a better system to resolve the complaints so automatically number of complaints will be getting resolved faster and number of complaints will also start to be falling if you are manufacturing a faster like you know it was given to you that company has started to manufacture its own glasses so automatically the quality might be better and hence like you know the consumer complaints have fallen which i have written over here which is reflect Uh, reflected in uh, lowering of the consumer complaints likewise the investment in it has been a great success with only three incidences of fraud per 100 okay sorry per 1000 as against a target of 10 however only two new services have been made available via the online application instead of four which is bad apart from that uh, the carbon emissions wala data has been quite effective okay then lastly your learning and growth however the number of employees trained to instruct the retailers are comparatively lesser than the target uh this might have like you know some kind of the impact on the market expansion that the company is thinking okay the number of hours paid for the social plans are comparatively high it will result in additional cost uh <coughs> apart from that that also could be the reason that we did not meet our target for roc again just we are that we are trying to be interlinking two or more things okay further the company has not met the aim of helping the rural area as much as possible so number of people hired from there are less this may be because the number of candidates applying from these areas might not be as high as planned and the situation might be beyond the company's control okay that's it about this particular question now in balance score card the most important thing is how you can try to interlink two or three things and you can try to give the suggestions to be improving a particular thing that's all done from my side i'll see you all in the next lecture take care guys bye